Tell them I make movies. <laughs> love and hip hop. I am motherfucking love and hip hop. You know who the fuck I is? I'm the Puerto Rican princess. It's gonna take God to come down here and slow me down. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And this one's going to be a quick hit. It's going to be uh, really short. I just wanted to, um, you know, go into um, this Proverbs 22 and 3. It says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil. All right, now what is a prudent man? What is prudent? You know, let's just see what it says on the word prudent. All right, and the Hebrew word there is ah ra wa ma so i believe it's pronounced ara wum ara wum strong's h 6175 arum arum the second entry a rom a rom all right it says subtle shrewd crafty sly sensible crafty shrewd sensible prudent crafty cunning usually in a bad sense crafty prudent crafty in a good sense prudent cautious all right there you go and the lexicon it says in a good sense prudent cautious so the word prudent means crafty and it also means in a good sense prudent cautious so we're cautious all right of what time we're living in so it says a prudent man foreseeth the evil all right a prudent man is cautious and see if the evil all right the scriptures say um, uh, we're not ignorant to Satan devices now the word Satan means adversary. Mm -hmm. All right, so the adversary of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, the trickeries of Satan, of the devil, you know, which his counterpart is Esau Edom, with these elites. All right, NATO, European Union, and the agenda that they push. The evil, it says he hideth himself. How do you hide yourself? You hide yourself from the danger. Where do we hide ourselves? All right, you hide yourselves in the scriptures, okay? Another scripture that come in mind is uh, the Lord said, uh, uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run up into it and it's safe. So we're running into, all right, we're running to for protection is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's why it's needful, you know, right now to repent. You know, scriptures say, uh, um, uh, seek the Lord while he may be found You know Seek the Lord while he may be found You know You're supposed to hear the trumpet The trumpet is being blown And the prophets are speaking You know Even though it feels as though Everything is going According to this summer And Jake having their fun thinking about vacationing and going on trips they don't realize that great evil is on its way and we already had a taste of it when we was being quarantined and locked down all right we was being quarantined and locked down you know that was a taste that was a glimpse of this uh police state you know so it says a prudent man all right, a prudent man is someone that is crafty, all right? And it says in the lexicon, in a good sense, cautious. So it says a prudent man foreseeth the evil, and evil means bad, you know? Let, let me let me see what it says with evil quickly, you know? Because we see the bad time. 
The Hebrew word for evil is Ra. Ra. We see the bad time. Uh, bad, disagreeable, malignant, bad, unpleasant, evil, giving pain, unhappiness, misery. Whew. Great misery is coming. Scriptures say, what's that, Micah 2 and 10? Matter of fact, let me, all right, let me, let me pull that up real quick. I'm doing a lot of quoting, but I wanted to make this quick. But I'm going to read this one. This is uh, in the book, Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. And this place that you call America, which is known as Babylon the Great, it destroys you from the inside out. It leaves a great sore, you know, the the the, the uh, ideology, the process, and how you think, your traditions, all right, your your uh, your mannerism and your behavior, okay, uh, the accept the acceptance of of um, of feminine behavior that you accept. You know, all this is it leads to what? A sore destruction. So it says, arise ye and depart, meaning depart, meaning uh being transformed and renewed in your mind. All right. Any scriptures being um uh washed by the word, okay? You know, repent. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sore destruction. You know, now, will you drink? If you know that this water's polluted and contaminated, will you drink it? If you know this food, all right, is contaminated and toxin, will you will you eat it? All right, well, two-thirds of, of the Lord's people are eating up this toxic, contaminated water and, and meat, you know? They're, they're eating up the 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 uh, the uh, behavior of uh, of of an animal, man, of a beast. This uh unlaw this uh, lawlessness of a way of life, you know. No shame, no integrity, no principle, no standard. Just doing whatever it is they feel like they should do, you know. That makes you a heathen. That makes you what a gentile. Okay, and I'm speaking to the Israelites, you know, because you're in a Gentile state of mind. But the Lord called us to be holy. All right. He called us to be separate. All right. To be separated from the rest. All right. To be chosen, to be a special people unto him. So there's a certain way that you carry yourself. You carry yourself with law and order. All right. And a standard, integrity, principle, right? So arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. And this place is destroying Jake, man. All right? But uh, back to the word uh, for uh, we was in evil, okay? Uh, it says evil, displeasing, bad, of its kind, uh, land, water, etc. Right, we, we got the picture, Okay? All right, so it says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. And you don't want to be the simple, all right? The simple is going to be destroyed. The Lord said he will mock at your calamity. Matter of fact, let me, let me go grab that real quick. Uh... Right, this is um, Proverbs chapter 1 and 20, and I'll read it quickly. Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city she uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. All right, because you got the men of the Lord that are prophesying in season, out of season. All right. And teaching and prophesying the word of the Lord. 
So the Lord said, how long ye simple ones? Going back to the word simple. You don't want to be simple. All right. It says, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And the fools, it says, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refuse. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at north all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear come. When the fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh. See, and that's what it's about because they wasn't they weren't prudent. Okay? They're not the prudent, they're the simple. So there's there's a difference all right you have an election dealing with the lord's people okay you got israel on the whole all right you so-called negroes latinos native and seminole indians west indians so-called uh, uh 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 haitians all right y'all israelites but guess what there's an election within the election okay so you're gonna have those that's gonna be delivered and then you're gonna have those that's of uh, of the Lord's people going to be destroyed And they are numbered as the two thirds So it says for That they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh They would none of my counsel They despise all my reproof Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way And be filled with their own devices And that's what's going on Alright they're, they're filled They are filled with their own devices Scriptures say man sought out many Many devices Alright It says um for the turning away, Salakia, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safety, oh safety, and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. Woo! Does that go hand in hand? Let me read that again. Proverbs 1 and 33. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. All praise is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, because that goes hand in hand with Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. All right, so Lord willing, you know, I pray this lesson is edifying. You know, I wanted to just make a quick hit. Hopefully, I hit the points. I hope you're edified. You know, hopefully, it builds upon your faith, you know, and the, and the faith, your faith toward Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and to endure, you know, keep enduring all the way to the end, man. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.